In Tear Theory Mode, you are given the opportunity to revisit each movie under a different light. For the original Jurassic Park, you are tasked to recreate the original part from its inception to grand opening without sparing any expenses. Kind of. And in this video, we'll go over all the objectives and various events to help you plan your gameplay and smash those missions as fast as possible. The first instance is more meant as a tutorial. The objectives are pretty easy to meet. You will start with a budget close to 22 million and the constraints aren't too challenging. The first objective being listening to the mission brief, it will give you some storyline information about the scenario. You will then be tasked to build a science and visitor center, both at set locations and connected with a path to be operational. The next objective is an intro to the game scientist and research mechanism. You will have to research the hatchery, accessible from the control room, under the welfare group and choosing the dinosaur creation researchables. You will find a hatchery research, assigning the right scientist or group of scientists that met the total scale requirements needed for the research. Once research, you can build one on the designated location and once constructed, Dr. Wu will instruct you to synthesize some raptors. And by going to the hatchery, you can choose the appropriate skill scientist and or one with a beneficial trait for the operation. As part of the scenario, the synthesis will fail prompting the next objective. To research, improve synthesis. Once again, all you need to do is assign the right scientist for the task. At that point, you can spend some time researching some gene modification to modify the raptor genome. Once done, you will have to resynthesize the Velociraptor again, and then choose at least two eggs to hatch and then release. The next objective will have you construct a ranger post within the enclosure. You can at the same time add some meat dispenser to the enclosure to feed the raptors, as well as modifying the terrain to add water. Next, you will need to build an operational response facility connected with electricity and path. Then you just need to assign a ranger to the post to complete the objective. Doing so will scan the dinosaurs within the enclosure, exposing their needs and if they are met or not. For the Velociraptor, you will have to build a live prey feeder, as well as reaching a comfort ratio of 85% by modifying the habitat to suit their requirements. Next objective will have you place a viewing gallery connected to the path to ensure the dinosaurs are visible for the visitors. The next building to construct will be a paleomedical facility, followed by an expedition center. Once down, you can open the exploration map and find a location for some Triceratops DNA and assign a scientist to the task. Once the expedition is back, you can extract the DNA from the science center. Once again, you will have to assign a scientist to the task until you reach a genome of at least 50%. At that stage, you can also start other expedition to grab some more DNA and build an enclosure for the trites, as you will have to synthesize and release at least two of them. You can also build a staff center to rest your scientists if you're using them quite a bit at that stage. But remember that the part not being open yet, you don't have any income money. So keep an eye on your budget. Not everything needs to be researched or built just yet. On synthetize, you can choose the trite eggs you want to hatch and airlift them to the enclosure you made. Ensure you have a ranger assigned to the ranger post within the pen to pinpoint the dino needs and fine tune the enclosure to make sure the comfort level is at least 80%. This finishes the tutorial part of the Jurassic Park scenario. And the new objectives, leave more space to your creativity, and it will be up to you to make the choices you want to meet those objectives. The next one are to increase the total dino species to four, have a part two, and ensure that five dinosaurs are viewable from the part two. Once again, the part is still not open, so watch your budget. You will have to research the part two first and send an expedition for more DNA. A good one to get is the Stratomimus, as you can easily hatch at least 5 eggs to include in your tool. Once you released the last dino, you will see that two of your animals contracted the disease, and you can send a mobile vet unit to stand them to find out the problem. 
Once identified, you can research the treatment from the research center, and once done, administer it to the sick animals. And with that, you will be able to finally make some money by opening Jurassic Park from the arrival point. The next objective is to increase guest comfort by increasing restroom and shelter coverage by 90%, as well as offering an accommodation routine of 90%. To do so, just place some toilets and shelters along the path to cover the park, and go into the management view, it will help you spot the area covered and the one lacking accessibility. Once done, you will have to build a small amenity, like a food or drink stand, and an attraction building that can be researched. And like all buildings, they will have to be connected to the path and be powered. The next objective will have you reach park rating of 3 stars, increase your dino species to at least 6, increase your guest number to at least 1000, and have an income per minute of at least 400k. All those objectives go hand to hand. More dino means you need to expand your park to house them which means more path to increase your amenity coverage and availability, and building hotels to increase the number of guests that can pass your doors. And if you look at the park rating, it gives you an idea on how to reach 3 stars. Once done, it will be time to create and release a T-Rex, which is a bit of a costly operation, but manageable in this scenario. Once released, be ready as the sabotage will be triggered while 3 enclosure gates will open and you will need to send a ranger to close them up and make sure that no animal escape. From there, the last objectives are to level up your part to a rating of 5 stars, have 10 different dino species, as well as having at least 1500 guests in the park. And to reach a 5 star ratings, you will need an income of at least 1 million per minute. Once all those objectives are completed, you will get the mission completed pro. And that's one chaos theory done. I hope that video has been useful and until next time, see ya!